Casey Heffernan, a junior at the University of Washington, seems just like any other college student, busy spending time with friends and family. But Casey, majoring in Spanish and hoping to go to medical school, recently embarked on a journey few students could imagine. He traveled to Ecuador, where he served as a translator for a medical team performing free heart surgeries for children. I sat down with Casey recently and talked about his experiences. As a guy out at the airport, you just notice that you're, you're on the equator because it's so humid and hot. There's so many people that want to get into that hospital that there's a huge line and, and it also matters how much money you have and the people with the most money go first. These are all children and these surgeries are mostly surgeries that um, these kids should have had when they were infants. But the cool thing is, is now these kids have a normal lifespan, and if they didn't, they pro they'd definitely die earlier than they were supposed to. Children's heart problem had to have a speedy recovery and a speedy surgery, so it was all about just fixing up as many children as we can. Um, basically, I was a translator. Um, that might not sound as important as being a surgeon, but I thought it was fantastic because I got to con uh, connect with the patients, the patient's family. I, I know I was a necessity for all our nurses who didn't speak a lick of Spanish, and I made a lot of friends. That that was great about it. You know, I just kind of got to see how it was to be a parent, just see your child almost die. And then there was this other uh, child named uh, Nellie. Uh, she could only take um, 20 steps, and she would always be tired, and you know she couldn't even move because she was so exhausted. But after after the surgery. She could finally just play with her brothers because that's all she wanted to do. She couldn't even go to school. Now she's going to school and she can play with her brothers like what she wanted to do. I felt I was like a bridge, you know, just connecting, you know, two different cultures with two separate languages together. It's just an experience that you and 48 people share. I guess Ecuador itself, it's, it's even though it doesn't get a good rap, it's still a great country to go to. Um, I could, you could walk the streets by yourself, which I did, you know, I was the only white guy out there, and still, I felt safe, you know, and these are definitely kind and compassionate, and they shouldn't just be looked down upon because they're, they're in South America or they're a third world country, you know, a lot of third world countries have more than you expect.